Kristen Sabelli spent 36 years in the grocery industry, and most of her career she was also running a horse farm on the side in Geneva, Ohio. Then, about 10 years ago, she got into the horse and carriage business, and while most of that business comes from weddings, she found a niche just a few years ago, weddings in the Indian community. Uh, I was a retail clerk's international employee, worked for Finest Tops Supermarket for 36 years, and then purchased a farm um, for my own uh, personal hobby and working with horses. In 1985, we purchased a 35-acre farm, and it was previously a privately owned farm, and deciding to do some boarding, we turned it into a boarding stable. And it was a boarding stable for um, 20 years or so up until uh, presently. And we did clinics, shows, events, and day camp for adults and for um, children. I had a friend who ironically wanted a horse and carriage wedding. I happened to have a horse that drove and I happened to have a carriage I was restoring. So I said, I can do your wedding. And I did. And when people were at the wedding, they said, we didn't know you did horse and carriage weddings. And I said, I don't, but I could. And that's how I got started. Uh, we were approached by some uh, Indians and asked to do a wedding for them. They supplied our first set of decorations and we were able to do their wedding really not knowing too much about it. After a little bit of research and some help with my mentor Mary Adkins from Willow Wind Carriage Company in Springfield, I learned a lot more about Indian weddings and purchasing some decorations. Um, began doing Indian weddings and predominantly now 80% of our business is the Indian wedding community. One thing that is for sure is that nothing is for sure. So don't be afraid to step outside the box, check resources, connect with other people whose advice you trust, and then take their advice and along with your own gut feeling and information that you have, move your business into another dimension.